Hello everybody, it's Helena, and in today's video we are building a tiny little cottage once again. I know, I've been doing quite a bit of cottages lately, but that's because we just got the new pack, Cottage Living, so I couldn't just not build cottages right now, you know? But this one is the last one I'm gonna do, like, for the minute at least. It's not the last cottage I've, I'm ever gonna do, but... Yeah, just for right now, I think I'm gonna take a little breather and focus on something else. <laughs> Although, I'm not done building in Hanford on Bagley for the minute at all. I do have a speed build of another house that I built in Hanford on Bagley coming out in two days. But it's like vastly different. And I'm really excited to show that house to you guys because it's kind of a fun and cool one in my opinion. And I can't wait. I don't think I've said this yet, but I am currently pre-recording again. I know I've been pre-recording so much lately because I haven't really been home much. And, you know, I kind of want to post every other day. That's kind of like my, my upload schedule, as you guys know. So I am a little bit busy, but I did build the other house yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday. And I built this one yesterday as well. I don't know why I said that, but now you know I'm pre-recording once again. And that's because I'm going to be going to Germany, which is very fun and very exciting. I haven't been to Germany in a long time. And like, I'm Danish and Denmark is right above Germany. So it's like very close and it's kind of like weird that I haven't been there in a while but you know there's a whole panoramic and stuff going on so that's why and also like I didn't really go before that but <laughs> it's like a very common thing for Danes to go to Germany and vice versa I'm pretty sure I'm not completely sure about that <laughs> Wait, yes, I actually am because a lot of Germans really like beaches and stuff and we have a lot of beaches here and they barely have any so they like to go to Denmark. <laughs> That's kind of cool and fun, I guess. Not really, but whatever. But the thing that kind of like makes this cottage different from the other two that I did is that it has a cow shed or the animal shed, whatever the heck that item is called. I don't remember, but I put a cow in it. So in the screenshot, you will see a brown and white cow and it's pretty cute. I really enjoyed interacting with it because I haven't played with any of the new animals yet because, you know, I'm kind of busy for recording and stuff, doing real life stuff as well. So <laughs> I haven't really had much time to just play. I've only been building so far, which I've been enjoying so much. It's so much fun. I love this new pack. It's so great. <laughs> I don't really like have any complaints about the gameplay because obviously I have not really played with it yet so I can't tell you if it's good or bad or whatever. The build mode is really good in my opinion. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that most of the landscaping items like the new plants and stuff are in the debug mode which is super frustrating like as a person who builds using debug all the time and I love debug. I love these cheat codes and everything like that. I think it's still really annoying that you have to write those cheats and then have to enter debug mode, scroll through all of these hundreds and hundreds of items and it's super like hard to find them and I kind of like really hate that. And there are these like really beautiful flowers. I use them in this build but unfortunately they are in debug mode and it's really hard to find them and stuff so I hate it. <laughs> I hate that so much and I kind of wish that they had just given us those plants in the like regular plant catalog <laughs> and that's annoying but besides that I'm very happy with the build mode. And even though we didn't really get that many items for buy mode, I still think it's pretty good. And if they make up for it in gameplay stuff, then I'm perfectly fine with it. <laughs> and in the other two builds that I made, I only put a chicken coop. But in this build, I decided to put a animal shed too because, you know, I wanted to try that out too. And it was really fun. So I put two chicken coops and one animal shed because that was like what I could fit in here. And I think it's really cute. I like it. I think the cows are really adorable. I haven't played with the llamas yet, but they're really cute as well from like what I've seen in trailers and other people's content. I haven't really been watching too much content of like the gameplay either because I want to like experience it for myself, but I've seen a little bit and it looks really good and fun and cute. So I am excited to try it out. <laughs> but if you didn't know, I posted a starter cottage the other day, four days ago, and in that build I only used the Cottage Living and the base game, so if you own the base game and the Cottage Living pack, you can download that one, so if you want to check it out, you are very welcome to do so. <laughs> and two days ago I posted a video of me building a cottage on like a hill, and it had a little pond and some chicken coops and stuff, it was really cute and cozy, I liked it. <laughs> but I do just want to mention that 
when I'm going to Germany, I am gonna stay safe, like, from the virus and whatnot. Like, I am fully vaccinated and everyone in my family is fully vaccinated. And I'm also gonna be tested before leaving just to make sure that I have a negative COVID test. So it's all gonna be okay and we're gonna be staying safe and not putting anyone or ourselves at risk. I just wanted to mention that in case anybody was concerned, it's all good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No need to worry, okay? <laughs> but I haven't left the country since 2019, since the fall of 2019. So it's been a while. Like in Europe, we kind of tend to travel a lot. Like it might seem normal to Americans that you haven't left the country in a long time because you guys live in a very large country. But in Europe, it's very common to just go on vacation in other countries like very often. So <laughs> yeah, it's really odd that I haven't left in that long. But I'm really excited to go. And in 2019, I went on the most vacations I've ever been on in my life. So it was kind of like perfect because obviously we couldn't go on vacation in 2020. Like a lot of people did actually go on vacation in other countries as well, but we didn't do that because, you know, it was still like very new and scary. And I just, I felt like it was a little bit irresponsible to go on vacation in the like middle of the pandemic, you know? Like I'm not judging or anything. And obviously I'm going on vacation in another country now, but we have vaccines now, so it's a little bit different. But I'm just saying that I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> and also a lot of people did bring home a lot of COVID from other countries. So that's not ideal. <laughs> and a little bit, little, little, little tiny bit selfish. <laughs> like I'm not trying to talk about COVID too much in this video because it's not really like a happy topic by any means. But last year in the beginning of the pandemic, I worked as a cashier in a grocery store and I was literally petrified of accidentally like not using enough hand sanitizer and possibly giving someone COVID from that because I was like touching stuff that so many other people had touched and I was so scared of giving other people COVID and I literally had nightmares about it and I just I know that I would feel so guilty about it if I knew that I had like been to our country and had brought home like a bunch of COVID and potentially like given COVID to somebody else like oh that would scare me so bad I feel so bad about it like I probably like most likely didn't give anybody COVID like how would I have done that I don't really know but I had so many nightmares about it it was really bad but yeah in in 2019 I went on three vacations out of the country which is like very unusual for me I I feel like most years I've been on like one out of country vacation and that year I went on three which was like kind of perfect because the next year we couldn't go on any vacations at all you know so <laughs> yeah that was kind of good timing you know in the summer I went to Budapest and Paris and those two cities are like some of my favorite cities of all time especially Paris like Paris is probably my absolute favorite and I've been there twice and it's just so magical and iconic and so beautiful and then Budapest is also one of my absolute favorites as I said I've been there twice as well and it's just so gorgeous and very underrated and everything is like super cheap there which I love <laughs> and then in the fall I went to New York which obviously is a super iconic city as well I hadn't been there before that was my first time and it was wonderful absolutely wonderful I want to go back so bad <laughs> enough about me though when I was taking the screenshots I did put a cow and some chickens down of course so they look really cute for the screenshots <laughs> and the cow kind of like was standing inside the fence and it was not cute so I kind of moved the cow shed back just a little bit which made it function a lot better and it wasn't like glitching out and being stupid and weird and stuff like that so it's a lot better now but I just did that off cam because I don't know I just didn't feel like recording once again just to show you guys me moving it back like two feet <laughs> but that also means that the shed is kind of like inside the fence but it's okay we'll just pretend that the fence kind of like stopped right there and then it continued on the other side you know that's perfectly fine it's really no big deal and if i hadn't said anything no one would have noticed or cared so that was a little stupid of me but whatever it's okay and we are working on the interior now and it's pretty cute i feel like i don't know the kitchen is not really my favorite because it doesn't really match that well but that was kind of like on purpose because i wanted to make it like kind of mish mis mish 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 mismatched <laughs> and look a little bit random and just kind of like cutesy and cozy and stuff like that but it's just not really my favorite thing ever it's okay though and i used the new wallpaper from the new pack 
everywhere in the house except for the bathroom because I used a Realm of Magic tile. I didn't record the bathroom though because I didn't really feel like there was a point in doing that and it's not really like interesting at all so you didn't miss out on anything like special by any means but you'll catch a glimpse of it at different times throughout this video. I feel like you see it all the time since it's so small <laughs> and I would definitely say that this is a tiny farmhouse but it's not like an actual tiny house with the tiny house residential thingy from the tiny living stuff pack because I just didn't really feel like doing that today. I don't really know why. I didn't really have a reason to not do it. I just didn't really want to. So <laughs> yeah, you can definitely, I feel like it would be a small home if you try to do that. So yeah, if you want to have those perks, you can definitely change it to a tiny home residential. And as far as I remember, I didn't put any lot challenges either, the new lot challenges. And I'm pretty sure it didn't come with any pre-existing ones, but if it did, then it's fine. You can just change it if you don't want to have them and you can put some more if you want to add more challenges. I don't know. I haven't played with them yet, <laughs> so I don't really know how it works, but I do want to try it out. I'm really excited to get home from Germany and play with the new pack. Like, actually play with it? Yeah. I have so many things I want to do. I really want to play with some more new games that I just bought, <laughs> but I haven't had time to do it this summer because I've been a busy potato, but it's okay. I'm happy about it. It's been a good summer so far, honestly. And I'm posting this on the 31st, I'm pretty sure. No. The 29th, I think. Yeah, the 29th. So I left it this morning, Thursday morning, and I'm now in Berlin. So that's kind of fun if you're watching it when I post it. So now you know, I guess. I think I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. That was my finger, sorry. <laughs> but I built this house on the 20 by 30 lot in the top left corner of the map in Hanford on Bagley, obviously. It's called Cordelia's Secret Cottage, as you can see in the top left corner right now. <laughs> and it's a really nice lot. It's like very secluded and far away from everything, which is not something I would enjoy, but I feel like for people who like to be very secluded, it's nice. <laughs> so I imagine that this sim just likes to be on their own with their cows and chickens and stuff like that. They might even have a cat or a dog or something. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't put any pet stuff down when I built this house, but that's an easy fix if you decide to download this house and you have a sim that has a dog or a cat and you want to live in this house. That's perfectly fine if you want to change up some things. Like, I don't really care what you guys do if you download my houses. That's totally up to you guys. But this video is about to come to an end and my voice is giving up on me. Oh my god, don't do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content but i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video that i'm posting in two days because i do post videos every other day as you guys know but bye everybody